chance to talk with former New York State Assemblyman Ron Tochi, tremendous advocate for veterans. Uh, uh, Mr. Tochi, we saw today a, pr a proposal from the Forest City Company to develop the Echo Bay property in Urshel, uh adjacent to the armory. What are your thoughts on this proposal? Well, it's, it's very frustrating, uh, Ken. What happened was uh, this proposal has been around New Rochelle now for almost 10 years. And it started out as a humongous pro project that was going to be 26 acres, which encompassed the entire area from Echo Avenue all the way down to where Solution is, and it was going to be a redevelopment of the waterfront. Over the last few years, it's evolved into uh, what we are hearing tonight, which is no more than uh, eight acres. Unfortunately, they're trying to utilize the property where the Nourishell Armory is. And the veterans have been uh, preaching to the, uh, the council for the last uh, 10 years about making that into a community center. So this particular proposal, if it goes ahead, uh, would take all the available land around the armory uh, for parking for a residential housing project, uh, actually uh, making the armory useless to anybody because there would be no place to park. So I'm against it, and most of the people that are here tonight in protest uh, feel that this has been totally unfair, this process. Uh, we actually engaged the people who designed the Barclay Center, Shop Architects, and they made a presentation to uh, the people in New Rochelle, invited the council and staff. They refused to come, uh, except for two people, Tarantino and Trangucci, and they showed what could be and how uh, this particular project could stimulate the economic growth and uh, make, make the people in New Rochelle really proud of what we can do by opening up the waterfront with entertainment and recreation and so on as opposed to something that will congest everything, pay no taxes, and create uh, more problems. So you see that there is an alternative to the proposal that was presented tonight? There's a, there's a valid, uh, very, very um, viable proposal that we had hoped we could make to the council, uh, but the mayor has uh, shut us out. So uh, a lot of people are very, very upset about that. The whole process has been very unfair, and all we're looking for is, is an opportunity to show the general public and the council what we want to do. And uh, we engaged, as I said, uh, the shop architect people who are professionals in every respect. And they uh, feel that this project is well worth uh, proceeding, and they're still our partners. So we hope uh, to be able to convince at least the majority of that council to listen to us so we can show them what an alternative uh, we have and how it can be uh, really beneficial to everybody in the city. And Mr. Tochu, we know the Armory in Urshel goes back to the 1930s generations of Residents have uh, started their military careers there. Uh, why is it uh, so significant to the community that it be retained? Most of the people that uh, remember the armory from uh, the days of World War II on up, it was actually uh, built in 1931. It was completed in 32. Uh, there were literally thousands of people who were processed through the armory, uh, that were inducted into the service, that returned back there, it was used as a reserve center for every branch of service, um, and at the same time, uh, a lot of celebrations welcoming home people after the war. There were dances, there were all kinds of parties for the kids, there were weddings and everything you can imagine. Uh, the building represents to them uh, a memorial to all the people who served uh, in the military, and they think it's a disgrace and really... Uh, it's a slap in the face to all veterans right now that they won't allow us to even make the presentation. If they don't like it, at least they have something to say. But to not allow us to even make a presentation to show the viability of the project and how it can help all the people in New Rochelle, seniors, youth, veterans, which need all the help they can get right now, a veteran service center as well as a restaurant to generate revenue and so on, uh, we think that this is uh, just a... A travesty. <coughs> Ron, what would you like to see happen as a next step? Well, I would hope that the council uh, at, the, at the future meeting would vote at least the opportunity for us to come in and make our presentation. From there, let them gauge uh, the sentiment of the general public, and uh, they can evaluate whether our proposal is uh, more beneficial to uh, what the, uh, the Forest City proposal is right now, which, by the way, in a cost-benefit analysis, uh, shows that it generates nothing. It'll cost this city money in the long run, as everything else they've done, from Avalon to New Rock, uh, you name it. Mr. Ron Tochi, thank you for everything from uh, Sons of the American Legion Radio. Thanks a lot, Ken.